It is December of 2023, and it feels like my fifth year in elected office flew by amazingly fast. My fifth year also happens to be the first year of the current council term. Councillors Lauren Greenlaw and Andrew Hamilton have integrated well with incumbent councillors Jenna Stoner, Eric Anderson, and Chris Pettingale, along with Mayor Armin Herford. And one of our strengths as a council is the level of respect council and the core leadership team brings to the work. Looking back on the first year of this term, there's been many accomplishments. We created a strategic plan to guide council at a high level until October of 2026. The Squamish Housing Society hit the ground running under the leadership of Executive Director Sarah Ellis. A historic memorandum of understanding was signed with the Squamish Nation. The Spirit Creek Building opened across the street from House Sound Secondary. Construction started on the bridge between downtown and the Sea and Sky neighborhood. This fall, pickleball players started using the new courts at Brennan Park seconds after the paint had dried on the lines, and construction started on Fire Hall No. 2 on Tantalus Road. Coming up in the year ahead, you'll see work taking place at Brennan Park as upgrades to our rec centre begin. We'll continue working towards starting construction on the desperately needed new public works building. And I'm looking forward to Splash Park construction at Brennan Park this spring. Enjoy the 2023 holiday season and have a happy new year.